Okay, now we've been able to um, do a bunch of, um, have a lot of success with this. So now in this part, what we're going to do is, I've written a function here at the end, all the way at the bottom. I wrote a function called load image. It's time to load our image that we uploaded to our server into a movie clip for our movie. So I've written function load image, got a capital I here, by the way, and then we're going to pass this function the image name, and that's a capital N right there, okay? So image name, right? And um, then when we get that image name, we're going to put it into the avatar, avatar container, and then we've got to go into the avatar head outer, so movie clip, and then inside this movie clip, and then into the third movie clip, avatar head, where we'll load the movie, which is actually we're going to call the dot load movie um, function here or method. Um, it's built into Flash, but it's also used for loading JPEGs and images, for image files. So we call dot load movie with capital M here, and then we pass it that image name, right? And then for good measure, we're going to go to our dynamic text box called stats. We have another dynamic text box way at the bottom called stats. So we'll say stats.text equals the image name so we can get that image name in there just to test to make sure you know is, is something getting passed in there and if it fails I want to know you know is it is it undefined is image name working right so that's the load image right and I've already checked out so a avatar container avatar head outer avatar head right and if you go to the movie clip on the stage this one is avatar container see right there if I double click on it go inside of it there's avatar head outer, double click on that one, and then this last movie clip is called avatar head. So we're going to be loading the JPEG into this last movie clip right here. right? And why did I nest all these movie clips? I did it so that on this other movie clip what we can have is we can have this mask, which will mask, which will only show this part by having the mask, right? So I did that so we could set up kind of like a, a mask in the outer movie clip. All right, so back to the code. So we called the load, load movie function. Well, no, actually we wrote the um, load image function. I'm sorry, not load movie. We wrote this function called load image, right? And now we got to call it somewhere. So where do we call it? Well, we're going to go here. We have this listener that happens, and then it has olistener.oncomplete, right? So when the thing is finished uploading, that would be a good time to then load it into the movie clip. So I'll go to the next line here and I'll say load image, right? And now I've got to pass it the name of the image to load. So load image and now I've got to pass it the name. So well, what I have here is this other on this first um, listener method that we wrote or um, event handler, we've got o listener object, right? on select uh, handler here and um, in the function we passed it file ref right our file reference right and then as part of that file reference you can do file ref dot name to get the name of the file that you chose it's part of the file reference class the dot name property is part of this file reference class so let's just try to pass it that so we'll say file ref dot name right and we'll hit control enter to publish a movie right and now we'll we'll look at that swift in the HTML file so we hit refresh right empties it out browse for the file right let's get femur again <laughs> femur open right upload starting to upload and sure enough, there it is inside of this movie clip. We can see it's masked, so it's a big image, right? So we can only see the part that's masked by our mask, so we just see this part of it. But it was success, and then here in the statistics dynamic text box is the name of it, femur space one dot jpeg. So total success, right? Excellent. All right, now all we need to do is figure out how we can um, scale it move it and scale it. So I've got these scale buttons and these position buttons to move the X and Y axis and the scale buttons to make it smaller so it fits in the little window. Right? And that 
is what we'll do in the next movie.